If you're new to RV life, you may think that you're safe in campgrounds. But you're not. Stay tuned for our story. Welcome to the channel, I'm Liz. And I'm Paul, and these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And we're definitely not living amazing right now. Most of you know we're full-time RVers. We've been on the road almost three years, and we thought that we were safe in a campground. We actually said to each other before the incident. Yeah. About a day before the incident, we were talking, and we were talking about how safe we felt at this campground. Yeah, we were out in the middle of nowhere, um, not near any towns or any communities. It was just us backed in the woods with our fellow camping neighbors, which were not that close and wasn't, no. wasn't that many of them. No, no, it was very scattered and, and we it gave us a sense of security that was, it was obviously a false sense. So we didn't want to make this video, but we decided that we did to help you. Do not get a false sense of security. Um, because things can happen, and, and what happened? Uh, they stole our bikes again. Both of them. So we lost both of our e-bikes, uh, $7,000 worth of e-bikes this time, you heard Paul say again. Um, and the reason why we don't want to make this video is because we're a little embarrassed. If you're a regular viewer, you know that we had my bike stolen over a year ago. Yeah, yeah, we even did a video about the security precautions that we were going to take from that point forward. I was real good about it. I, was, I locked them up. We had a motion sensor alarm. Yeah, we yeah. had a motion light. But we didn't use any of those because we had a false sense of security. Back to that again. We, we just felt safe where we were and we just didn't think that we needed to lock them up. We feel like if it could happen to us, it could happen to you. Know that I have been camping since the 90s and when I started camping, it was a different kind of camping than it is out here right now. I mean, no one locked their doors. You felt totally safe, you know, and it was just, it's not the same now. Yeah, obviously that's a hard lesson for, for me and for us to, to, to learn because, you know, it's happened to us twice now. And I just, I just have more faith in humanity than apparently I should. What we thought the cause of our first bike theft from the campground was is that we had a poor or community yeah. near us and yeah. we felt it was you know if you're living paycheck to paycheck and you see these people in and out vacationing in a nice campground next door to your neighborhood we could see how a campground could be a target so now we know the cold hard truth and the cold hard truth is we cannot trust our fellow campers boy that's hard to say it just breaks my heart that, 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 you know, that we can't trust anybody now. I mean, it's just, we have to, I, I have to lock them up. If we're gonna be in the camper for five minutes, I have to chain them up and, and, and lock them. I do wanna answer questions I know we're gonna get. Right. All right, so uh, first of all, were the bikes locked? No. No, we did not lock them. Um, they were on the rack, but they were not locked. They were on the rack. Someone would have to undo them from the rack. They were not locked. Our locking bike rack that we love so much uh, got broken in the incident that we had, yeah. and we can't get parts. As you know, there's a big shortage of anything bike related. Yeah, we need a couple of, actually just a few straps for it. And, and then the next obvious question, did we call the police? No. No, we were too embarrassed because they weren't locked. And, you know, this has happened to us before. We felt like we should know better. Um, so we felt there was no need to call the police. Yeah, or, and that, which leads to the insurance. Did we file an insurance claim? No, because they weren't locked. And, and you know, the first time when your bike was stolen. They cut the lock. They cut the lock. I mean, they got through a cable lock and, and don't use cable locks and think you're secure, by the way. So we did report it to the campground. They were shocked. It happened in uh, Newport, Washington, a campground called uh, Little Diamond. They are not known for theft. Yeah. Um, they said yeah. maybe somebody was cruising through. Well, we're outside a lot. We're in and out. You know, we're walking mango. I'm running. We had never saw any vehicles. You know, we're in, the, in a dead end area. Yeah, right. We, we think it happened at night. Um, to, to be quite honest, we don't know exactly when it happened, um, but, but we believe that it happened at night. Our solution is to get cameras, and we actually had the cameras. We had decided after the first theft that we need cameras. Yes, 
Yes, we did. And um, we reached out to a company called Super Circuits. And let me back up a minute. We actually heard about Super Circuits through a member of the A-Team. Chris Dalton, thank you so much. I mean, we learned so much from the A-Team. And we so we had the cameras. But if you are a regular viewer, you know we've had a couple of distractions. The accident and then, of course, the emergency, the family emergency that I had to deal with, with with my brother passing. So we installed them as soon as we could, but unfortunately it was after the event. Right. Well, let's talk about uh, what we have. We're just going to give you a quick overview because there's going to be another video where we really dive deeper in all the technical stuff. For those of you that do want to have a camera system, we highly recommend it. But first of all, Super Circuits. Super Circuits, the company, yeah. Yeah, there's all kinds of companies out there. Super Circuits is a commercial company. They have high grade cameras. If you are gonna install a security camera on your camper, you need to have a high quality metal, not plastic cameras that are not gonna fall apart as yep. you drive down the road. Yep. Remember these, if you're putting them on, a, on an RV, they're, you're driving them down the highway. So they need to be a very robust housing which is what Super Circuits has. And you can't get plastic, it's and gonna discolor. Yeah, I would not put mount plastic cameras on the side of an RV. Super Circuits has been around for 30 years. One of the big pluses for, for me was that they have a American-based technical support team. And that's huge. That's huge. The system comes with an app that you can load to your phone, and it allows you to see your cameras remotely. It's really cool, but the thing is, you also can set up your app to give you an alert should somebody cross a, the perimeter and, and walk up to your camper, yeah. your phone will send you an alert. You can set that up to do that. It's yeah. really great. Yeah. So deciding what kind of camera system you want for your RV is not a quick, easy decision. You've got to decide where you want to have the cameras, how you want to have them placed. So this is why we have another video, so we're gonna dive deeper in that. But also, Super Circuits is there to help you as you can talk about your particular rig. So we have actually partnered with them. We have a special discount for you. Um, just use our code. So what was stolen, for those of you that don't know, I had a Luna mountain bike, an e-mountain bike, wonderful full suspension bike, carbon fiber, not cheap. And then Paul's. Yeah, the juice, cross current axe. So basically we felt like we were stupid. Let's move on. We were making the video painfully because we know it will help you. But we went ahead and ordered bikes and we're looking at the gifts of it. And the gifts are number one. Paul's bike was three years old, 3000 miles. And we felt like it was time. Yeah, I mean, it was getting tired. With any battery, they're rated by charge cycles, and after you charge them a bunch of times, they start sagging. That's, that's the term that, that you'll hear or read in, in blogs. And what that means is that instead of 60 mile range, you get 50 mile range, and then you get 40 mile range. And, and my battery had definitely started sagging. So we could have just replaced the battery, but since his bike was, was gone, we decided to go ahead and replace it. Well, we didn't have a choice. We, we didn't have a choice. <laughs> so but we decided to go ahead and buy the same thing. Now, as much as I loved my mountain bike, it was a pain in the beep <laughs> because it, first of all, um, talk about how we don't have match bikes and what that meant. Yeah, so so her bike was, a, as, as she said a couple of times already, a mountain bike, and it was geared to climb steep inclines. Because it was geared that way, it limited the top speed. So I'm constantly having to back off the pace because I'm waiting, waiting for her. And the battery, too, was smaller. He could go 60, 70 miles, and I could only go 30 on a good day. So yeah, right. if we did a 40-mile ride, which we often did, I yep. carried a battery. Yep. So now we have matched bikes. Um, if you are e-bike shopping, we highly recommend matched bikes. We've installed cameras at all four corners of our rig, so if you're coming to our rig, just know that you're going to be on camera. <laughs> Right, you'll see that red light. There's day and night vision. It's recording 24-7. I think they look great. And just having them there, I think, will chase thieves away. We want to remind you that thieves are everywhere. Your neighbor could be a thief. And, you know, we hate to say that. It makes me sick to say that. It really does. But that's it the does. truth. And we want to protect you. We do not want this to happen to you.
Yeah, I mean, it's, that's the hardest part of this, is knowing that, that there are thieves among us here in the campgrounds. We did a lot of research, and we definitely learned a lot about the right kind of cameras to use. Yeah. And we will see you in the next video where we dive deeper into this system. Yeah, we're going to talk. I'm going to show you a lot of the steps that I had to take to install them. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about the details as, you know, as far as selecting the type of cameras. So we will see you in that video. So let us know in the comments if, if you've lost anything in campgrounds. And be safe and lock your stuff. What the?